All right, so this is the uh, cage system that I was talking about. Um, it's just a way of laying out uh, a major chord five different ways across the uh, fretboard here. So what you already know as a C, an A, a G, an E, and a D, we're going to refer, refer to those as shapes. So if I was to play a C major chord five different with those five shapes, <clears throat> I would start with the C shape to play the C chord down here. And uh, I'm going to illustrate it like this with my first finger laying across the nut because the make sure that we remember that the um, third string and the first string are open here. So, so this is really the shape that gets moved up. It's not this, which is a common misconception there. But, um, all right. So if I was going to play a C chord with the C shape, and then I'm going to play a C chord with the A shape, all right, and then a C chord with the G shape, all I have to do is pay attention to where my root note is and then build the G shape. And then C chord with the E shape, and then a C chord with the D shape. And the root note is right here on the 10th fret, string 4. And then it repeats itself. It starts over with the C shape again, right up here, on the 15th and 12th fret. Now here's a quick little tr uh, trick. This is what I use to kind of shrink the fretboard. I remember when I first started, the fretboard felt like it was like 6 miles long. And then <clears throat> when I started using the cage system, it started to shrink down. And uh, not until like maybe about 4 years ago, I started looking at it as though it's really only two shapes, two big shapes. So this is kind of my little trick. I look at it as the C and the A shape and the G E shape. So the C A shape and the G E shape. And what that really does is all you have to do is focus on the root note right here for C. So you have to find your two root notes that are on string six and string five. So I'm going to find on five right here, so C and then on this, on string six, right here on the eighth fret. So if I can visually keep track of where those two notes are, I can then build out the entire fretboard, the C shape, the A shape, because they're both built off of the same root right there, and then the G and the E shape. Now the reason I don't focus on the D shape is because it, the D shape kind of overlaps. It's part C and then part E shape. So I refer to it as kind of like the connecting shape. But it doesn't have any of its own uh, notes. Um, like notes unique to the, the shape there. Even if I lay down right there, I'm still playing those two from the E shape. Uh, I think in my posting I said that we play, you end up playing every note of the major chord ex uh, except for two. And that would be found right here. So if I play a C, A, I'm missing this G note right here on the third fret, which is the five of the chord. And then I'm missing, when I play G, E here, and then I start with C again, I'm missing the E note, which is the three on a fret 12 here. So if we had five fingers in the front <laughs> for outermost performance here, we would uh, we would be able to hit this three in the bass here, and then I'd be able to cover that, but otherwise it's not going to work out so well. So since we, we leave this, I personally like to form my chords, you know, when I think about this, as the root being the lowest sounding note. So that's why I don't mind leaving out the, uh, the G, the five right here, and the E, the three right here. Here's a, here's a cool trick for drilling the C, A, and the G, E shape just into your brain, all right? <clears throat> First, take, a, take the C, A shape, and what we're going to do is take one finger, and you're going to outline that shape going up, all right? And then you want to come back down the A shape, and then go up the A, and back down the C and then go up to the G shape and do the same thing. And then up the E and then down the G, all right? 
Um, then, once you kind of get that, and also try to close your eyes and picture what you just did, and try to keep track of how far the frets are apart from each other. Now, uh, to increase the difficulty, and this is all about visualization, because the more you can just visualize where you are on the fretboard, um, you can just kind of move around real quick. Alright, so, but, um, the, uh, <clears throat> hold on here. So, try it like this. Play the root, and then the three inside the C shape, then the five inside the A, right? And then go to the five in the C, the one in the A, the one in the C, the three in the A, and then you'll end with the five right there. So you get this. Right. Then try to do it with just one finger, because then you have to keep track of where everything is with your eye only. I usually kind of almost kind of stare in the middle and use my peripheral to move around real quick, and then do the same thing with the G and the E, where you're... Right? Um, and that will kind of help drill in the C, A, and then the G, E.